Try to filter things out here. Hi, Clarenzo. Hi, shout out to you. Um, this is just such a quick live because you know I just found the setup here over here with Kuya Mao, and so like you know he said I could play some YouTube songs. So it's like okay, you know I love singing, even if singing doesn't love me at all. Charities. Okay, so um, through the years, actually, I got this. I, I know this song na yeah, ever since before, but um, the balik lang again because of the movie The Kid. So, yeah, nga, um, based on the song, um, there are really like times that we would actually meet someone in our life that would actually make us feel like at home and. Someone who would actually make us feel at home at the same time. Like, no matter how many years have passed, 
you would always still feel the same way when you see this person. So, ganun ba kayo? Like, meron na ba kayong ganun right now sa buhay nyo? Kasi, it can be a friend, it can be a special someone, but through the years, there would always be this person who would be with you, who would always choose to stay no matter what. Kasi, in, in that in, in that sentence itself, that who would be with you, no matter what, meaning, it's more of um, two people. So, it's in a matter of relationship. It could be in a friendship or in a special relationship. But what I meant is, this song just explains that in a long journey, there would most likely be just one person. I mean, luck tayo if there would be more people who would actually stay with us through our ups and downs. So, yun lang. Parang, I appreciate the song more. Especially nung napanood ko yung The Kid because there, it didn't actually, um, it didn't actually, uh, um, tawag dito, highlighted the fact that it's about a relationship or it's about friendship. It is actually about, about the love that we have for a family. Actually nga, in the, in the end of the movie, it was like, um, they weren't actually related by blood. So, yun. Parang, it's just, you know, uh, it gave me more meaning. to That movie gave more meaning to this song. So, tapos, what do we play next? Um, when she cries, she cries. Eto. Let's just sing. Ito naman, if ever you're in my arms again. From the title itself, parang, um, if only I would be given a second chance, then I would do it better. Then I would be the person that you wanted me to be. It's kind of like that. So it's full of regret. And then, we'd go to maybe this time. Kasi, with a maybe this time, they've already met again. But with if ever you'll be in my arms again, the person's just wishing. So, these two songs, parang talagang nagko-collaborate sila together. Like, if, if I hear if ever, the next song that I would actually, that would actually get into my mind is yet maybe this time. sa isip na, natin na parang if ever you're in my arms again I would hold you much better I would hold you forever may ganun na ba kayo sa life? yes yeah, kasi you know um, as time passes by, we actually learn different things it's either emotionally mentally you know, so we grow we change there would be changes in our lives that sometimes we don't even realize that we've changed. So, may mga pagkakataon na may kakamali. May mga natatapos na dapat hindi naman pa natapos. So, we'll just, you know, have to sing along with the song. If every eye Yeah, like that. Diba? I still love you so. I still love you so. Because you know, love never ends. Ako, that's what I believe in. Love would never end. Love can never stop. And love could never change. Hi, Mom Shirai. Good evening.
Actually, may ganyan ka na ba? Someone that you've met that you just wish na if ever you're in my arms again, I'd love you much better. <laughs> okay, so this night is really just full of uh, me sharing what I think of the song and what I can actually add up to the meaning of the song. <laughs> Wait lang guys. Bye-bye.